Welcome to the Collecting Kites. Collecting memories and treasures in New Zealand. Okay, walk with me as we go on our wee adventure to the lookout point. Here we go, walking on the track. I remember see this gorse. This is um, an introduced plant into New Zealand. And a random fact, random Jane Kite fact for you. When I used to go horse riding a lot in my childhood, I used to ride this horse called Nelly. And Nelly all the time used to brush me up against the gorse. So even though it's prickly, fond memories, because I used to love horse riding so much. There you go. Story times with Jane Kite. Ooh. Right, Stephen's gone. He's gone already. I can hear the crashing of the waves. Cicadas. I bet this view is going to be spectacular. We haven't, because we've been living in the South Island, we haven't done this walk for a wee while. This is exciting. Now, honestly, this has only been about two minutes from the beach, and this is absolutely spectacular. So I'm going to stand back, not go too close to the edge, but look at that. See the rolling waves coming in. Wow, this is beautiful. Haere mai, which is welcome to beautiful Waihi and Waihi Beach, which is only about nine kilometers from the wee town of Waihi. Now, you are going to come on an amazing journey with me to a shop called The Shed & Co. Now, The Shed & Co is full of amazing treasures. I have, I have been there a number of, number of times, okay? Uh, but I just love it, and I thought this time, why not film as much of the shop as I can? And the lovely owner let me, and I had a ball. Honestly, there's so many amazing things in there. So hopefully you enjoy this beautiful trip to the Shed and & Co. And I'll show you a little bit about where we are. I'll show you we have come on a wee little walk. And uh, it's just absolutely spectacular. Don't worry, I am in a safe spot. I'm not going close to the edge whatsoever. And Stephen is just down there on for a wee walk. So, the Shed & Co. Enjoy guys. Alrighty, I'm in what is called Kitch Corner and already I have spotted some amazing kitsch. Down here, remember at the start I was talking about the purple cows? Those are the purple cows I was talking about. Now I wonder that's not a purple cow in the middle, but what are you? Ah, you could be a sugar bowl. I love that set, it's precious. Mm, cute. Got some cats. And <laughs> look at that. It's another anthropomorphic orange. Wow. Okay, I'll stand back and then I'll just scan you up so you can see. Now I know that these are collectible. Are they Miss Dainty or I'm not sure the name, but they do have a name. Look at the mushrooms. <laughs> oh, goodness me, they're adorable. Look at the little sad apples. Now what's behind the mushroom? Oh cute, it's little birds with hats. Any kind of animal dressed up. I think it's adorable. Cute. These mushrooms. <laughs> oh, what a cracker. Are oh, the birds cute? But look, there is just so many. What? Oh, there, there's some. Oh, come on, you need to get into focus. Thank you. There we go. Look, right at the top there. It goes all the way up. Treasures. Then you've got some creamers. 
Wow. Really, really special. And everywhere you go in New Zealand, you come across happy dolphins. Now, these ones are... Whoop, let's bring you out. Salt and peppers. Aren't they neat? <laughs> Cute. Happy dolphin. Let's pop you back carefully. Alright. Oh, and more for capels. Lots of really neat things in here. Alright, so scoot you around here. Oh, man, it's a hot day today. Oh, this is neat. This is a really neat set. I wonder if that's glass. Oh, if it is, it's very, very light. It might actually be. Could be plastic, I think. That's really neat. I like that. Ooh. What tree did you hang off? Oh. Okay, let's um let's balance ourselves, people. Balance. Might do this off camera. Okay. I got the beautiful salt and peppers back on. They're now balanced. <laughs> oh, they're neat. All right, so I'll scan you up here. Now check out the kitch in this kitch corner. It goes all the way down. It's all the way behind me. Now I know that we've got quite a lot of cat fans on our page. If you are into kitschy cats, here we go. I like the um, the ones with the flowers on just there. They're adorable. <laughs> and the eyelashes. Oh, cute. <laughs> cats on the telephone. <laughs> Siamese cats. Oh, gosh. They just keep going and going. <laughs> Look at these ones with their ears. Hello to you. Oh. Cats at the back. More cats, whoop. Slightly taller Siamese cats. Have you got whiskers? You need to zoom properly, mister. There we go. Look at, they've even got their whiskers on. They're cool. All right, we're still going with the cats. Wow, you've got whiskers too. <laughs> Ooh, look at those ones. Got wee napkins around their necks. <laughs> uh, now these ones coming up I'm going to show you they look there <laughs> oh my goodness don't they look really like shocked surprised what have they seen <laughs> quick let's run away um, hmm. those cats are interesting okay that one's kitschy at the back look cute and these two there. Whew, wee. Gosh, what an amazing collection, seriously. This is almost like it could be put into a museum. Salt and Pepper Museum. I know there's one in America. Maybe we could set one up in New Zealand. Maybe that's what I could do. I could buy them all up and set up a Salt and Pepper Museum. I love that one with the eyelashes. Gosh, that'd be so cool. The owls are neat. I wonder if those are Disney. Oh, look at the wee horses. Cute. And the, <laughs> the raccoons with the glasses on. Got kitschy bunnies. Oh, I like these two. The horses with the hats. And what else have we got back there? Oh, they're cute. The mummy and baby monkey, you a monkey? Mm, it's a, and you, you're a cute too, with your eyelashes. All right, what's back here? Ta -da! Oh, I actually think that these. Now this is moving on from salt and peppers. Now, for those of you that are not into salt and peppers, look at that nice glass. You need to focus though. There we go. I like that. The three at the back and then that the chunky one in the front with the neat stopper. It's nice. 
Oh man, it's very hot today. <laughs> I know I said no more salt and peppers, but look at that. <laughs> that is adorable. Ah, goodness me. Well, look, there's another one of those blue. I just really like this. Okay, I'm going to take you into another area of the shop, and I'm not going to video because I don't want to break anything. <laughs> there's so many treasures here, so I'll go into another part of the shop and I'll see you soon. Alrighty, so I've come to another part of the shop and I found some really neat boxes. So, of course, I'm going to open them and find out what's inside <laughs> because that's what I do. <laughs> Here we go. Some neat paintings up there. Oh, actually, I don't know if you can see that, but that's worth zooming up on. Can you see that kangaroo? I suppose it's a decanter. The lid comes off. That is neat. Some sort of alcohol bottle, I assume. That's really neat. All right. So let's go back to these boxes because I want to know what's inside them. Whew. This could be like the Australian area because look, there's some boomerangs. That's what I say to the kids in my class. If they borrow something, it's a boomerang. It comes straight back to me. All right, so this must be an old sewing box, is it? Retro sewing box. Is there anything in? No, but look at the beautiful condition. Could keep so many treasures in there. I like that. Okay, so that's box number one. And then this one, it's kind of giving me like an 80s vibe. Look at that. Is there anything in here? Let's have a look. Let's open you. Ah, you are a jewellery box with a beautiful red velvet inside. <laughs> oh, wow. Like that. Pop your rings in there. Ooh. That's so cool. Might keep you open. Oh. We'll keep you open for now. And I'll shut you off camera. There's another box. It's very um, Japanese. Well, I can't open that with one hand, but look at that. Precious. All right. Okay, I shut the box and we are venturing this way. It's, oh, there's some really neat old cameras in there. Old Canon. Some old phones. Oh, the glare's not very good there, but <laughs> most roll the phone. Okay, so Shed & Co. also has lots and lots of garden ornaments. I really, really like that clock. That is great if you don't have too much wall space because it's sticking out. I really like that clock. We, we are after a clock for our kitchen, so that would be perfect. I really like that. You can see it both sides. But can you actually, ah, see, because we would probably have it that way so you can see it. But that is perfect because, can you see at the back how it doesn't need much wall space? Because it's that setting at the back, the frame that it's on. That's cool. I like that. Alrighty. What else can we find? Here's another box. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, titty bears. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, what are these? Um, for your wine bottles. With corks. Cute. Reminds me of Pinocchio a little bit. Hmm. All right. Let's get them to focus as we scoot around here. Blue Mountain Pottery, Canada. I love this jug. I've actually seen this every time I come in and every time I, I just admire it every time. It's kind of like the poodle teapot, I guess it is. Is that it's spout there? Yeah. The poodle teapot. I think he's precious.
This is a great place for gifts, guys. And it's a great place if you're, if you're shopping for someone like me that likes antique and collectibles. Oh, look at this. Here's another box. I don't know if it's picking it up. Oh, it is a little bit. This has got a beautiful pink tinge to it. Are you quite heavy? I think you might be quite heavy. You are quite heavy. Oh, it's got playing cards inside. Little baby ones too. That is ridiculously heavy. wonder what that is made out of. But that's really neat. What's up here? This could be called Open the Box. Unboxing. Hang on. What is this? I don't want to like hurt myself by... Mm, what are you? Maybe some sort of like cigar box possibly? Mm, not sure about that. Kiwis! Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you later, guys.